Well, tonight, a bill heading to the governor's desk, which has people all around the nation comparing Arizona to China and Syria. And here it is. There's not really much to it here, but if this is signed into law, some say it would prevent you from writing what you want online. ABC 15's Christopher Sign joining us now with an explanation. And Chris, there seems to be some confusion about this. Confusing and concerning to some, Stephanie. The next time you log onto your Facebook page and post a comment, you could be breaking the law if somebody finds that comment to be intimidating, annoying, or harassing. Now, legislators say this is by no means a way to trample on your First Amendment rights, but critics say it would censor you. We're trying to make sure people are protected from stalkers uh, in this electronic day and age. And as the tangled lines of the Internet, legislators are looking to straighten out with House Bill 2549. It's only three pages, but the potential law would focus on those who hide behind a screen name or anyone else who posts messages that others find intimidating, threatening, or terrifying. It would make it a crime if you use any electronic device to suggest a lewd act or threaten to inflict physical harm to a person or property. The goal of the bill is to take on stalking and harassment, and a sponsor of the bill claims it's not meant to take away rights, it's meant to protect you. This was not an attack on any First Amendment rights. You see some of the bullying problems we've had in high schools and grade schools across the country, uh, Facebook posts, you know, attacking people, uh, Twitter messages, things like that. Again, we're trying to update the stalking code to reflect the modern day. Well, tonight it seems as though many are feeling the heat or at least listening to the concerns about this. So it appears lawmakers are doing some tweaking to this bill to eliminate those concerns from the public, yet maintaining the base of the bill, which is to combat stalking. Stephanie? Yeah, and to be clear, this was heading to the governor's desk today, but because they wanted to take another look at it, we're told that it didn't quite reach their desk. Chris, thanks. So I have mixed thoughts on this, because to us it sounds like our freedom is going to get taken away. They might just use this law whenever somebody is butthurt at someone else. Like, you should be able to tell somebody off on the internet respectfully without, you know, threatening them or even calling them names. You should be able to do that. You can have a heated debate. You can be pissed at somebody online and tell them how you feel about it. But trolling is a different thing. I think maybe they do just want to use it for those hardcore trolls who hide behind a name and relentlessly harass people, threaten them, and make their life a living hell on the internet, basically. That should not be allowed. I hope they use the law to get rid of those people. It's unrealistic because of the whole IP address. It can be masked, it can be spooked, and they can even make it look like they're in a totally different country. So how do they plan to enforce this? It just makes me wonder. So I was looking into it. How the hell do they plan to enforce it? Well, they're talking about making spoofing your IP address illegal, and to possess that software, you could end up in prison for three years. They're trying to pass this right now in legislation. So I think if it became totally illegal to even spoof your IP address in the first place, um, that would probably scare them, and maybe all this trolling bullshit would stop but again, we have to just wait and see how it's going to be implemented because we don't want our rights taken away. We don't want to have to change what we're doing because assuming that you're not a troll, you shouldn't have to change a damn thing. So let's keep our fingers crossed. All right? Much love.